Alright, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Um, it's been a long time, at least for me, since I recorded an episode. It's probably been a while on, on my YouTube channel as well, but we're back. I'm not sure if you guys will get too many more episodes before the end of this college semester, as I have been pretty busy. But, um, this episode's gonna be a little weird, because all of our level 6 parties are... Well, one of them, the last one we took out, is currently in sick bay and getting cured, so we can't use them. And we're pretty much out of cash. So we're gonna be taking Bilby, who hasn't seen action since, like, I don't know, the first 10 episodes, out to make us as much money as we can. But we're also gonna do it while taking on a boss, and we're also gonna fight that boss with a party that is not great for it. So, it's gonna be a weird episode. Let's hope it doesn't fail fantastically. But if it does and all these characters die, it's not too much of a loss. Um, so the first thing we're actually gonna do today is head into the stagecoach and purchase the next stagecoach network upgrade. We've maxed out on experience recruits now, so we can get level three people that will sometimes appear. In this case, we managed to get level one leopard. Great, fantastic. Amazing. Useless. Um, so we're going to upgrade this before I head out, otherwise I'll forget. And, and this will upgrade uh, one more hero each week, so an in increased odds of getting level 3 characters we might actually use as backup members. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Now before setting out today, we're actually going to need a little, little bit of money for upgrades. So we're going to start selling off items we don't need. Um, Start purging some trinkets that we don't want, such as those, and we're going to get rid of our extra dodgy sheath and our extra berserk mask, because we're definitely only going to ever want to run one leopard together. Um, that should be enough money for today's episode. I'm not gonna. I don't, I don't think I need to sell anything else, but that can give you some money in a pinch. And we're going to do something we've never done in the, on this series yet, and that is actually buy a camping skill. So, Battle Trance, which requires our Hellion to be in position 1, it's pretty good, right? If she's out of position 1, it's bad, but it'll give her massive damage. And trust me, this Hellion is built for some serious damage this time. So we're going to upgrade, we're going to buy the skill for her, or this camping, uh, camping skill. And she's going to be getting both Battle Trance and Sharpened Spear at our camp before the boss fight. So she's going to be one tough, uh, one tough cookie here. Now for skills, we're going to be upgrading the Hellion's gear. Again. Same with our uh, our Vestal. Our man at arms is going to be buffed. Um, we don't really need bolster, so we'll give him an upgrade to his basic four skills here. And Bilby's actually going to be taking nervous stab for this fight. Funny enough, uh, definitely going to take protect me. Uh, flash powder could be interesting. Do I care about the heal or do I want the blight? We do have a good healer, so I suppose I suppose a blight could be useful. But a heal could also be yeah, you know what? The blight's not gonna be useful. We'll take the heal on that. We set it up so Bilby can use nervous stab here. Alright. Now he's also we also have it's gonna be relatively cheap for us to get the upgrades for their armor now because we have a maxed out blacksmith, so. I think level two gear for these characters is gonna be a worthwhile investment. Uh, everybody is the strongest they can be for this mission. Um, again, it's not the greatest party, but that's what we've got. Make some money and kill a boss while we're at it, and it'll get, make us some more deeds, which we do need to upgrade the stagecoach, plus four more crests. So, for this episode, uh, we're taking on the Brigand 8-pounder, which, for those that have seen the series before, you're probably thinking, what are you doing? What is this? What, why is there... An, aqu an antiquarian in a boss fight. Why is there this guy? Why do we have a man at arms against a cannon that effectively can't be blocked? Why do you have a Hellion? Well, the reason why we have the Hellion is because if the, if the matchman, and I'll get into this when we get into the actual fight for those that already know this, if the bandit matchman spawns in the back row, and I've got Sharpened Spear, and Battle Trance, and the Crescendo Box, and Dismiss's Head, and Iron Swan, he's dead. He's really dead. He's got to be dead in one hit, uh, which is the point of doing this, so, so he never gets to act. And if he does survive, or, sh or if he shuffled to position three, we have If It Bleeds to kill him, we have Crush to kill him, we have the ability to stun him with Dazzling Light, and we can kill him with Nervous Stab. And because I get the feeling these three characters are going to be busy doing something, that's why I bought Nervous Stab for Bilby. Just in case we are screwed over so badly, the Antiquarian has to actually fight something, which would be really bad, but hey, it's possible. Um, 
I think we'll be able to actually kill the matchman fairly effectively with this group. And like I said, if he spawns in the back, he's done. He is destroyed, hopefully. Uh, this, this ability has 95 accuracy. That's all right. Uh, so it's not great, but it's enough accuracy that it should hit fairly often. We also have um, some bonuses for the Weld, I think. A lot for the Warrens. We have a Weld Scrounger bonus here, so that'll be worth something. Um, a lot of things for the Warrens, but sadly these Warrens missions stink this week, so not doing it. Anyway, that's our crew. For the Hellion, we have the Crescendo Box and Dismiss' Head, so pure stress and pure damage. Uh, she exists to destroy the back row. Pretty simple. If we need a healer, we've got the Vestal, which is going to be running our healing skills and healing skill, uh, two healing skill items. We're not taking the scroll because I want her to be able to stun, specifically. Um, it, it, if it comes down to having to stun that match, man, she has to land it. So that's why I didn't give her the other one. Our man at arms is going to be taking thing, uh, the Overture Box and Focus Ring combo. So funny enough, he'll actually be the most accurate character of the, of the bunch. And he has three skills that aren't affected by accuracy. But in case he has to land that crush, that's there. And then Bilby has a Martyr Seal, so uh, he's slightly harder to kill. And Camouflage Cloak, so he is not attacked as often. That's what we got. In the provisioning stage, we need enough, uh, we need enough gold to provision, so I think we have enough here. Apparently we get a free key. Alright, whatever. Um, we definitely want to make full power of this camp. We'll use the camp, so we're going to take uh, more food than I'd like, but Actually, no, this is, this is a medium run. We are going to go down to, to four food left over. It is the weld. There is some good shovel options here, so we're going to take three. We'll take a second key. Um, bandages and anti venom are both useful here. Holy water is less useful here, I think, because of the... the uh, there's only one curio I think you can use it with, but I, I forget. We'll take double herbs. We'll take one holy water and our standard 14 torches. That's to one too many. No. Alright, whatever. Point being, we've got 5,000 gold left. I hope to walk out of this with at least 20,000 gold in our pocket and a win. Um, kind of a weird party, but I think we can make it work. And I'll see you guys at the entrance to the dungeon. Alright, here we are at the dungeon. Um, we actually, this is actually a very interesting layout. I say that probably every time, but this one is more interesting than others because first we, we have a secret room right here, to the left here. We have two treasure room pings, but most importantly, we don't know where the boss is, which is actually interesting, because this room down here, where I'm hovering my cursor over, is five, it's five uh, rooms from spawn, but so is this door. And because the, the boss is always chosen based on distance from the dungeon spawn, or dungeon entrance, it's a, it's a tie in this situation, so I don't know. Uh, so we're going to, I guess, clear out the rest of the dungeon and then come back, which I don't, I like doing that, but... That means we gotta save our camp for right here, this room. And hope we get lucky. So, yeah. That kinda screws up that whole camping idea. Anyway, we'll grab the secret room while we can here. Packs laden with yep. loot are often low on supplies. You know what? Well, I had the chance, actually. Let's, uh, let, let's not do this. Let's go slaughter the boss and get it over with. And then we can come back for the goodies later, because we want to make sure our camp is effective. Hopefully we'll get a scouting ping here so we can tell which room the boss is in. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Does anybody have uh, with any quirks that make them touch things? At least he's clean. She's got no negative quirks at all. Nice, we don't. Okay, excellent. Um, we have a bandage option here, so we'll take it. Okay, we got some gold and an item that I'm probably going to sell, but it's not too bad. I'm not using a torch because we don't need to here. Any venom for the old tree. Good stuff. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Actually, yeah, those keys are going to get used, so I can't drop that. Um, yeah, we'll drop, we'll just we'll dump the holy water. Almost pitch black now. I want to see what the, I want to see what the, what the curio is here in the dark. Okay, torch. Could be could be loot here with the torch. No. All right. Got a fight here. Let's uh. 
That should be radiant light. Yeah, alright. That should be... Not for radiant. Alright. We got a nasty fight here. He did act first. Our Hellion should be able to, to delete him. This is a... Uh... Yeah, he's dead at this land. Decimated. Excellent. Yeah, that's just so much damage. We can we can pump out with the Hellion. It's really, really good. Try to have Bilby do some damage here to the Stress Cast. But this will be bad pull of the lands. It does. Okay. You already acted, so let's... Uh... Could go for a kill here. The man at arms can use bash in that position. I'm not certain. Let's go for a kill. Oh, Push got it. All right. Give them no quarter. Let's have the man at arms guard the hellion here. Actually, hmm. I'll guard the antiquarian for now. All right. Yep. One hellion. I was hoping one of the antiquarian. Nice dodge. All right. Nice. This should only hit the man at arms for minimal damage. So you need, to, you need to get out of your Antiquarian. Alright. Go for a double stun here. Which is not, not too bad of a play, actually. Although I want to see if I can bleed them out. It's only one that isn't bleeding. Hopefully our vessel will go next. Nice. That should land. It does. Okay. Broken swipe. Another dodge. I forgot, our Italian has a nice dodge for some reason. Okay, that's a confirmed kill on the Fungal Scratcher now. Can you guard anybody this turn? No, let's just hurt this guy. Scratcher's almost dead here. Nice. So that, that was the wrong play. I should have just used Judgment. Death he was stunned again, inches. but it wasn't terribly likely to have happen there. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, we'll drop the stun stone for the uh, this because this stacks these antique stack for every fight. Um, didn't expect to get a triple puzzling trap as a huge here. I also would like the busts. I suppose we can drop... Are the herbs likely to be used here? Not as likely. And it's that food carrier that we don't like. I'm taking gold over busts. Um, for now. There is, a, there is a treasure room here. I want to buff up the light just to make sure we are mapped off. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright. We're going to camp in the next room. Either there is a fight here. Quad spiders. Okay. They are surprised. That makes things a lot, a lot better. He'll be going first kind of stinks because we can't really kill them. I guess Bill being in the vessel together can kill something and then, then these two can kill something, ideally. That's dead to Iron Swan. That's going to get beat up by... Yeah, or this one. Okay. Continually on oh, that was stupid. Right, the I can't do that them. now. Right, Hellion should still be able to kill this. Yep, oh my gosh. Yep. And let's hope the man at arms can get a kill here. It's likely he will if he lands one. Excellent. Okay. I don't think we could have killed all four. We're going to take one hit. It's a zero damage attack, which is nice. And it also resists the blight, so that's a completely useless attack. Crit from Bilby. Alright, that's pretty easy. This expedition at least promises success. Out of keys, which is nice. Uh, I don't care for the portraits as much as I care for the. Uh, I don't care for the portraits at all. We'll take deeds over crest this time because we do need. We, we do still need those. Scouting thing, excellent. Can we figure out where the boss is? No, this isn't going to be what we want. We do, have an, we do have an obstacle here that we have to remove with shovels. So, the fight right after it. Let's pop in our torch to make sure. As the light gains purchase, right. spirits are lifted. Okay, purpose okay, yep. is made clear. Nice dodge with the sun with the other uh, cloak going there. Alright. You gotta go, ma'am. Nice. Uh she doesn't get action on this thing. So at least at least it's stressing out Bilby and not our Hellion. 
Rabbit Rush. Okay, attack landed. Bleed, bleed did land. Their formation is Okay, Bilby's kill confirming a lot more than I thought he was the good. Offensive. I'm glad I am glad I got that, that attack for him. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, you're fine. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Sun chance is still pretty high on this. Nice. That's the corpse. Rip. Oh, he's still stunned. Oh, yeah. I screwed up there and attacked the corpse. Alright. That bleed is worn off. I think Bilby got all three of those kills. Holy cow. Now we're stacking and be wary. Nice. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Use about our last bandage here for some more items. Nice. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Does gold stack higher with an antiquarian? I did not know that. I thought 1750 was the max gold stack. Huh. Okay, if that's a hidden debuff of the Antiquarian, I did not know about that. Cool. Or buff, I should say, not debuff. Alright, I guess we're going to head up here and see if we can get a scouting ping of some kind. This needs a key specifically, so we're not going to touch that. Any event it might work, actually. But I don't want to... Well... I don't know. He'll grab that on the way back. It's an empty room, right? Yeah. Scouting ping. Yes. Okay. This is the empty one. All right. Let's uh, knock this trap out. Man at Arms has a terrible trap disarm. Wow. Okay. I thought he would have a better one. Uh, yikes. Who's got the best here? The Hell yeah. The forty. It's gonna fail. Nope. All right. Nice. All right. Bad and more meat. Great. I think there was a recurring meme earlier in the series where I was in the Warrens and it was nothing but meat curios. I forget why I titled that episode, but yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. This is bringing me flashbacks of that. Alright, so now we know that this room battle we're going to camp after. I'm going to try this anti-venom on this, cha on this uh, chest here. It might disarm the trap that's on it so we can get access to loot. Give it a shot. Nice. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Don't know if I'd call it wealth beyond measure there, but I'll take my my two citrine. Hunger pain, not a problem. Now we are practically oh my gosh, more meat. What is this? All right. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. We we're gonna run out of torches to go back. That's all right. We'll clear this out. We're out of keys. We're actually out of keys with so many treasure items I didn't bring enough. Oh well. Stressful incantation. Twenty stress. Yikes. Kill. Please kill you. Next. Annihilated. Yeah, this is where the Hellion damage is the most insane at level one dungeons because she has like max level perks and level equipment, but we're in level one dungeons, so the damage is huge. Uh, man, I don't know if I like Man Arms being in the back. It's not good. Actually, really bad now. You gotta get out of there, mate. Oh, he can move. He can move forward too. Nice. Nice dodge. Not gonna stun her again, probably. In Maybe. radiance, Actually. may we find victory. There we go. All right, no more, no more witch. Can begin to use a heal here. You're actually gonna heal with the vessel? Maybe. You're gonna get stunned next. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for heal next turn. So I'll focus fire on this guy. Alright. It's not a 
problem. We'll do we'll do a single major heal in the Hellion here. Yep, that healed back almost all the damage. Again, high level healing items at level at level one dungeons. It feels very strong. And those stuns consistently landing because of the low stun resistance of these enemies. I guess we buff all right. We're gonna need to be doing that in the boss fight. 11 damage, nice. Alright, Antiques? Yes! Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I like rubies, I like them more than a whole stack of citrine, so. Let's camp. Alright. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companion. Don't really need to reduce the stress, so I think we'll, we'll save the food and just do a normal camp, just in case. All right, battle chance definitely. Sharpen spear definitely. All right, this hellion is ridiculously strong now. Um, probably want to give the accuracy and the speed to the uh, the hellion as well. Do I want anything from you? Random trinket? No. All right. Destruction. Accuracy, so you don't miss. What's she up to now? 105 accuracy? Yeah, this, this is gonna be good. Let's just hopefully, hopefully, we'll get, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also, yeah. Give, give, give the accuracy bonus to the alien. Okay. She's not gonna miss, and she does crazy damage. I really don't wanna get ambushed right now. Great. Terrors may right. indeed stalk these shadows, not too bad. But yonder, a Great. Now she, oh, she loses all of her buffs because she's not in first position. God. Ah, uh, okay. This isn't too bad. That's nice. The Vestal being in the front is the worst part about this. And that's how strong the Hellion is outside of first position. Imagine if she was in first position. Alright, yeah, get out of here. It's alright. That's Grievous less alright. Please not have the second crit. Oh my gosh. Alright. Even so. I'm actually going to be using, I guess, the uh, the heal from the Fortifying Vape. No, no. Let's... I want to stun the other guy, but we have to do the heal here. Now we got to guard the Hellion. Oh, we can't even do a full heal. Oh, yikes. Alright. She could die. She actually could die. Alright, now I think we're outside the, the, the possibility of death now. He's got 10 HP? Mm. This would be nice if this killed. Alright, excellent. Now we can heal the Vestal. Or the Hellion. It's not a big heal, but it's enough. There's no way this thing's doing 15 damage. It just isn't happening. And, and the Hellion's guarded. Alright. Yeah, it's 6. Damage. Excellent. The light, the promise of safety. All right, twenty-seven percent crit, one hundred and twenty-one percent accuracy. Huge damage, huge dodge, huge speed. This is this is a monstrous vessel, ladies and gentlemen. Vestal. I keep saying vessel, Hellion. Uh, we can't open this. Not until we kill the boss, and maybe we'll get a key or something. All right, I don't like her health. Let's, let's make. Hopefully, there's not a fight right here. Oh, great. Not oh, nice. Okay, boss fight's gonna be in here. Take a torch, max it out. Uh, pretty good chance we're, we're not gonna have two more hunger pings, so we'll take four food on the on the on the, uh, the hellion here. Okay. Do you stress eater? Oh faster okay all right lads let's see how bad this goes I mean we, we, we might slaughter the thing but... a marvel of technology yeah let's see here. An engine okay. of destruction all right so what are the chances we can kill this guy without the hellion I would say pretty good chances so I want to get rid of the fusilier in the back 
obliterated. He's pretty dead. All right. Let's go for a dark stab on him. And the man at arms should be able to kill. Or we can stun as well. But he's, he's gonna die, so we're stunning this guy. Alright. Putting some faith in you here, buddy. Alright. Put a lot of faith in that man at arms that he's gonna kill that guy. That, that might have been that might have been the wrong play. Reinforcements. Hopefully the match man's in the back. No he's not. I don't like that. Destroyed. We can keep playing this game all day. I am totally fine with that. Problem is, how are we gonna damage this thing? Hmm. I guess we gotta not kill the fusilier for one round, huh? Another right, yeah. one falls. So that was useless. No, we didn't do anything. This boss fight works. So you need to kill the pounder to, to, to win, obviously. And uh, what's going on here is, if this matchman is allowed to live for too long, it might only be one turn. I think he needs a turn to prep, but he might not. Uh, he lights the cannon. The cannon just pretty much sets her entire party on death's door. So, the cannon has one of the most powerful attacks in the game per boss, but it has to be fired by the matchman. Now the cannon has decent-ish protection and a lot of health, so we can't really kill it. Otherwise, and, and these guys will gang up on us and kill us, but I guess we're taking hits from the fusilier here. Because this guy's gotta go. Another abomination cleansed from we our need, lands. We need to attack units that aren't this. Like a fire, okay. Kill chance isn't great. Blight chance is really good on that, or really high on that. Not sure how we're gonna kill this thing, actually. This this could become a problem. Can retribution kill you? It can. Excellent. Okay, that's that's how we can begin to do damage to the cannon. Yeah, it's gonna act first every time. Okay, matchman's in the back. That's better. He's done. He is done so. Um I guess we can no, we can't like blight it. I guess we'll have Bilby wear him down. There you go. Two damage. This fight's a long battle of attrition. I kinda want to buff so we do more damage, but I guess that isn't needed. Alright, you're dead. Executed with impunity. We're just gonna keep getting wrecked by blanket fire every turn though, if we can't. Stop it. I guess Bilby is our damage on the pounder, huh? Oh my gosh. Or we just take hits and start killing this thing. We start racing it. That might be the play here. Silver post, right? Alright. What's our accuracy? Pretty good. Precision and power. Oh, that was actually aimed at the brigand. I mean, I misclicked. That's actually really bad now, because now this guy's here. Alright. Sorry, our Hellion is consistently one-shotting. And we stunned to Oh no, we just did 25%. No! Nice he missed. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. I don't think we can get stressed out by being in this fight for too long. It is a boss fight. Only one reinforcement, that's really good. Alright, now we can start laying in the pain here. I'm pretty certain somebody else can kill that, so we're gonna start ganging up on the weapon. That Huge hit. Blow. That was good. Alright. Somebody can kill the match, man. Right? Yeah. You should get stunned. This should not fail. Alright. Men at arms, let's say, and Bill beats gang up and kill this guy. It's going pretty well. Yep. Okay. Huh, what do you think we have uh, our Hellion just attack this thing every turn? And use everybody else to kill the match, man. That might be how we do this. Uh oh. Oh, this just got bad. Okay. Uh, Vestal, please stun the match, man. We can't take any risks. We gotta stun him. You know this is a bad play. 
Just, it wasn't guaranteed that we kill him. You mean we killed him, but we start slowly losing because now the cutthroat gets to slice and dice. We're winning the race, but can't kill everything every time. Right, this guy's about to get pulverized in the back position, and be gone. A singular strike. We're, not, we're no longer opposing, so let's uh, get that back out. Nice. Like a fire means repost. You've got like no dodge, but it's all right. You could use a heal. I also want to kill him. Well He's out of here. You're doing okay. Your Hellion's got to get healed, but you can do that in the future. Maybe a one-man reinforcement. Yes. Okay, that's what we're looking for. One man reinforcements mean we can just gang up on this guy. Man at arms can get this. Hellion attacks cannon. I really need to heal this now. Ah, that's good. Man at arms, kill the uh, match man here. Alright, very good. Reinforcements. It's a double wave. Fusilier while you're at it. We're all healed up, so we can attempt to... Uh, I don't know if that thing's gonna get destroyed, so we'll stun the cutthroat here. We're on round 10, folks. We're still going. With this much accuracy, she pretty much can't miss. So. Inspiration and improvement. This is awesome. Alright. Get the gun. Nice. The ground quakes. Reinforcements, alright. We almost haven't beat guys. This is a long, long fight, and the goal is to never have the weapon fire once. If it does, you're you're pretty much you're you're, you're kind of a goner. So, all right, we can kill the gun here in the next attack. I think it should fit. And Bilby gets the boss kill. All the right. Dragons are undone. Our family crest wow. is once again a symbol of strength. Bilby, kill stealing everything. As victories mount. So too will resistance. So that's an extra three thousand gold just from the antiquarian alone. We got all these traps of hedron things, but I'm not I'm not done yet. We're doing great, we have very little stress. We've got enough torches, maybe. We didn't get a key from that, which stinks. Let's try opening this, I guess, with our hands. It's trapped. Alright, how bad is it? Or is it alright, not too bad. We're not touching that. And there, there are more battles we can earn more antiques from Bilby's passive off of. We can take one more hunger ping. We're probably going to end up taking it. I'm not going to explore down here. There's no need, it looks like. Oh, we're just going to go back. Oh, we're going to fight the spawn right here. Okay, let's... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll radiant light. Alright, what is this? Madman, okay. Any surprise. Alright, Hellion should be able to... She, she still has her buff, so get out of here. Excellent. Excellent. The blood quickens. And hopefully we can stun the other one. Alright, that, sh that, that, that stun should land. It does. Only gonna get hit by one rabid gnash of his turn. Who's going after? Bilby. Does land the hit. Does acquire rabies. Alright. Rabies is usually an, actually a skill that's alright. I say this I don't mind too much, but on I mean it's it's still bad to have and the antiquarian doesn't do any damage anyway, so we're gonna have to cure, 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 cure that at some point. Great. Now I can't take Bilby out next time. Thanks, dog. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Let's heal everybody. Boy, Compassion here. is a rarity in the right, fever pitch of battle. Kill you, retribution. The ultimate disrespect. What do we got? We got any antiques? We do. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. They just keep stacking. More cash. We definitely want cash. I don't need another agility whistle, so cash. I mean, this might be a... We might get hunger, pain, and stressed here. Because we got one more, but it could pop up anytime. We got a long way to a long ways to walk. I forgot that your light... Uh, your, your, your light level decreases a lot slower when you're walking back over areas you've already walked through. 
That's nice. So we're, keep, we're able to keep our torches here. We'll drop our torches and we can drop the shovels towards the end here, it looks like. That shovel could be used for the grave digging curio. So that's, why that's why I'm holding on to it. I mean, there also could be something down here. Alright, what do we have? Yep, there's food. That's more meat. The thing is carrying way too often here. Oh, the collector! Faces of the damned. Oh. Piled high and cloaked in malice. This stinks. I don't want you. I still have the damage buff, so I'm gonna do big damage to him, but. We stun him, maybe. That's junk. Uh, Mark, yeah, yeah. You. Yeah, it's Bill Bates, alright. I don't really care. Retribution's worth stacking. Uh, yeah. Big damage. We get stun off. We get stun off, and we can. We can! Alright. Playing this cycle again, lads. That means we might be able to. Oh my goodness, we're gonna kill him. Before he can even do anything. This Hellion is so strong. <laughs> a predator is often blind to its own peril. Oh my goodness. Another chop is a hedron. Alright, we're we dropping. Boy. This sells for some money, so I don't want I don't want to drop it. Ah, who needs torches, right? Eh. Eh. Yeah. Torches, what a foolish thing. We don't need torches. Alright, this is the last, probably the last scary fight we have to deal with, potentially. I don't want to have our Hellion get stressed out, because she legitimately could. They're both targeting our man at arms, so he dodged it, so that's nice. Uh, stun the one that already acted. You are useless, Bilby. Alright. Rip. Attribution? Nah. Nah, let's almost kill this one. And then I expect our Hellion to destroy the back row. No! Her accuracy buffs were off, so she could actually miss. Alright, that stinks. Alright. Uh, you're, you're already stunned, so we're good there. We can potentially try to de-stealth you, I guess, which won't do anything. I guess that's all we're doing. Alright. Stress. Okay. Yep. Well, I want you to be dead so I can stun you, but I guess I can't do that. Huh? You're dead to the Hellion. For certain. I'll kill you. Masterfully executed. Oh, hell, dang it. That was their position. Okay, I forgot about that. I constantly forget that that's the thing. Now she's gonna live. Yep. Crud. That's more stress. Nice. A decisive pummeling. Right. Hopefully no crits here. Uh, we, these guys seem to crit only in the darkness. So we're alright. Wow, oh, crit from Bilby. Hey. Nice. Groping swipe. Nice on our dodge. Alright, excellent. Alright, uh, go first on here, bring that light level back up. Fuck everyone's accuracy. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Keys, maybe? No. All right. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I care about shovels yet, game. I don't know. I care about food. It's not enough to uh, ask for ta uh, to take a hunger pig. So we'll, we'll uh, get rid of the food, I guess. Maybe. Hey, contents here. So we got nice. a fortune waiting to be spent. Let's trade these in. 
Alright. Can we not hit a... Oh, maybe food or keys. Come on. Oh, rip. Alright. We're gonna run on fumes here. It's, it's, we could be a surprise. No, we're not. Alright. Okay. Both dogs are gonna act before any of us. Oh, no, no. Oh, wow. Alright. Let's hope that bleed lands. It does. Uh, she's gonna get an action. At least one. Maybe. Oh, man. oh, no, never mind. She's not. Please hit. Excellent. Okay. No stress from you. Doggo's, on the other hand. Stress can be effective. Okay, you acted. Other dog has to go. It'd be funny if we got like a second disease. Then that can happen. Ten, yeah, five, five thousand gold worth of antiques. Now. They can be beaten. Not bad. Nothing in here. Well, I'd like to see a scouting ping, but nice. All right, what do we got? Can I drop shovels? Yep. All right. We can drop shovels if we need to. What do we got? An ectoplasm. Oh, that's a little surprise. This is a joke of a fight. All right. Uh, I don't even need to bleed you for you to die. Bilby can almost one-shot these these bone guys. That's how much of a joke they are. We also need to heal with our Vestal, so... Alright, bone rebel. I'm gonna attack a corpse or something, because I want the Vestal to be able to go. Nice, alright. Party-wide heal. That brings the, everyone top, tops everyone back off, pretty much, so... It's, nice. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Ooh, more and more shovels. Okay, nice. Do we need those? I don't know. But I want that gold. And we don't really need shovels, so I'm taking gold. Please no hunger ping. Let's get there without being pinged. Excellent. Okay, we it's all we're, we're, there's a good chance we'll be surprised here. It's the middle of the night. Hopefully we don't get surprised. Oh god, quad spiders and surprised. We surprised them. Wow, that's crazy luck. Okay. Uh, Vestal first, huh? Chance to kill is not all that high. We want the Hellion to destroy that. It's not weird. Some levers here. Hellion's gotta go eventually. Okay. okay. Yeah, man at arms will kill this one. Okay. So one Weber is going to get to act. Webbing our Antiquarian. Stunned and marked. And that's that. Alright. It's not a bad run for cash, guys. That's, that's all I'm going to push for. Not bad. We killed the Brigand and made a good amount of money. That should, uh, that should help the coffers out quite a bit back in the Hamlet. Oh yeah. Yeah, 31,000 we pulled out of that. Or 30, 32,000. Alright. We got some deeds too, which is nice. So We of course can convert our wealth of crests into deeds, but grabbing some deeds on their own is, is it's better than grabbing and converting into them. The, the conversion rate's worse. Um, we also got Ethereal Crucifix, which might be useful in the dark sun. I don't know. Alright everybody, everyone's level up. What do we got? Paris picked up Ruins of Venture. Not bad. Vestal picked up Clotter. Alright, and Billy picked up Rabies, but that's okay. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Alright, that was a very good episode, at least for, uh, for, for what it means for us in this playthrough. Um, no one really... Uh, yeah, see, I want to send Bilby out next. If I was to do another money money run, I'd send Bilby out. I'm not going to put Bilby in the medical ward yet. I mean, he's got bad accuracy, but... It's rabies. It's one of the best... It's one of the only diseases in the game that they can actually be turned into a positive thing. So I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep... 
our boy Bilby as sick as I can. Might be useful at some point. Alright, uh, we have over, over 100 crests now, which is great. 30,000 uh, gold in the coffers, it's excellent. Check stagecoach. Uh, we did pick up a, an apprentice crusader who has beast hater, which is nice. Stress Reader isn't too bad, and Faithless isn't too bad. That's not a terrible Crusader. I'm not sure if we'll pick him up next time. I'll have to think about it. But Beast Hater got... Uh, are there beasts in the Darkest Dungeon? I think there are. That might work. All right. Um, and for the end of this episode, like I mentioned in the last one, we want to use all the extra weeks we have to knock out these really bad perks that are not needed. So let's see here. Unquiet Mind isn't too bad. Uh, not too bad. Danvers. Ruminator is reasonably bad. We might get rid of that. Dipsomania is not too bad. Night Blindness isn't bad. Kang has... not bad. Wintergreen has... Bloodthirsty's... yeah... might get rid of that. Pogger's not too bad. Holomania... eh. Fear of Beasts is bad. That's for certain, but it's locked in. Miss of the Spot's not good. Dark Temptation's also bad. Yeah, that Kimbo's got some really, really bad ones. Alright, he's probably going in for certain. Um... Yep. Okay. So I think Zach Kimbo is going to go in and get rid of Misses the Spot. Well, how, what, what is this crit anyway? This crit stinks as it is. Alright. Let's actually get rid of Dark Temptation. Yeah. Dark Temptation and the other one that's, that's very similar to that. Bloodthirsty. Yeah, both, here we go. Both of our Plague Doctors being treated because they're sick. Sick in the head. Isn't that ironic? Alright. There's a lot of bloodthirsty things in the Darkest Dungeon, and I'm not sure if there are curios that I want to avoid touching. There might be. So, we'll knock out those, those two bad perks while we can. And, uh, yeah, that was a great episode. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Darkest Dungeon. Until then.